Hi guys and welcome back. Today I have a very special video for you, because today we're having a guest on the channel again. One of my favorite YouTubers is going to come on here and show you a very important and very fundamental technique in card handling, the in-jog. Now of course we've been talking about the in-jog and the overhand shuffle before on this channel, right? Um, but today E.S. Andrews is going to show you how to utilize this at the card table and in your gambling demonstrations. Because this is what he does. He's got a wonderful channel all about gambling sleight of hand. So do yourself a favor and head over there and subscribe right now because you're not going to regret it. And make sure to keep your eyes open next week because I will come on his channel with a very special video. Probably the video with the most value I've made to date. So head over there and subscribe. Now, without further ado, let me present to you E.S. Andrews. Now you will need to be doing this move with a partner. If you are not at the car table with an accomplice, with a partner, the move isn't gonna work, okay? That's uh, the only thing, you gotta have a partner to make this work. But if you are at the table with a partner, this is gonna be a knockout move. You can set this up is using an overhand shuffle, all right? The overhand shuffle will allow you to put that initial jogged card. I'll turn one of the aces so that you can see what's going on. I'll initiate my overhand shuffle. I'm gonna run one card over the ace, which is in jogged. And after that, I'm gonna shuffle off as normal, okay? I square the deck, I pass it to the other player, and he can see the jogged card, okay? He sees where the jog card is. You can see it right here. And he's gonna come in, push in, and there it is. He cuts at the jog card, giving me access to the aces. And all four aces can be easily retrieved. One more time, I'll put the ace face up, and all you're gonna do is simply take a, take a chunk from the bottom, run that first card in jogged, and shuffle off. Right now, you are left with this. This is the jog. Now, do understand that this is for explanation purposes. You never want to have a jog be this big. Never. This is huge. You square everything up and you pass it to your partner. Okay? Your partner will see the jog and this is what he's going to do. One more time. I'm going to move it over here so you can see it clear. There's the jog. Your partner sees that. He's going to come in. He's going to put his hand on the deck. Thumb pushes up and in. And then he picks everything up and drops it. And there are the aces. Okay? There are the aces. So one more time. There's the access. As I mentioned, you need to fairly quickly and casually run that initial card. And then shuffle off. You have your hands tilted this way. You square everything up. And notice how my hand here is providing cover. You square everything up, my hand is providing the, the cover needed, and then I pass it to the other player, okay? The other player comes in and cuts. Remember, it's in and up. That's, that's the movement, in and up. Anyone can complete the cut, and there you have access to the aces. So you cannot make that jog card this far back so it cannot be that long you need to practice to put that jog very small very tiny in there so that way the top portion of the deck will cover the card that's being jogged out but if you jog the card out too much then the deck won't be able to cover that if you can develop the coordination the timing and the speed in order to swiftly and very, very, very small placing in that jog card and your partner can very comfortably and with no hesitation just reach in and cut, then this will be a devastating move when you're working with an accomplice. Practice this. I mean, at the end, you need to go out there and you need to do this without even thinking about it. This needs to happen in an instant with zero hesitation. So guys, that's gonna be it for me. Thank you so much for being here with me. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel 
if you like this type of content uh, gambling sleight of hand content so that's it guys i really hope you enjoyed the video as much as i did don't forget to subscribe and like the video down below and head over to mr anderson's channel and subscribe to him and again make sure to keep an eye out next week for my video over there so thank you es andrews and thank you all for watching have a wonderful day see you next time bye bye